Welcome to the basement. Today's video is about how to make a one-way air check valve out of a female quick coupler and a male quick coupler. First thing you need to do, take this male, industrial style, whatever kind you want to do, cut it off right there. See where that lip is? So it looks like, about like that. Okay, you can even maybe, maybe go up further in the ridge. Next thing you need to do, take this hex part, unscrews from here. This part actually unscrews from right there, okay? That contains your seat valve. It's going to be this little spring right on top of it, and it's going to be just like that, okay? Right there. If I know what the fuck I'm doing, which I don't. I do one handed. Okay, so that's the bottom half. You need to take it out so you don't melt this rubber when you stick the male into the end. It should go right through the um, the little retainer balls, acid core, solder, whatever you got, solder that thing in there, flip it over, seal up the sleeve, it's a very poor job, I don't care, seal up the sleeve where that goes, then Take your seat, this is rubber piece, let's see that goes in like, maybe like that, okay, and then this piece that would normally get pushed down by the fitting to let air through. And then your bottom part with the spring. Oriented the same way you took it out. Which I doubt that's the case here. We're all buggered up. And whatever. Fucking go in. Gross. Ugh. Alright, we'll need to clean those threads up. Anyway, so now you have a one-way valve. If you blow in, send air through this way, nothing. Send air, maybe I got this fucked up. Oh, no, it works. Oh, it fucking works, okay. Send air th this down this way, and it won't come back this way. There you go. You got these pieces laid around. And don't feel like spending 15 bucks at fucking Granger or whatever. Go ahead, make yourself a check valve. <laughs> 